Hi, please. Honestly, that's fair. I'll do it too. What? Hey! What? What's up, everybody? It's the Normies, and we're back to watch more Office Season 3, Episode 5, Initiation. 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 You guys ever been initiated initiation. into anything officially? Nope, but they tried um, to get me to the frat before. I've initiated really... officially on initiation on the national officiation level. Ooh. We had oh, some no. secret rituals in our marching band section that you had to get initiated into. It's real cool. weird. Really? Oh. I never had any interest in joining a frat, so... Same here. I, I didn't do any of that stuff. Nah, and if you did... Let us know your initiation stories. I, I won't tell you what my marching band group did, but I will tell you what the tubas did. They put bananas in the toilet and they blindfolded you and you had to reach in there and grab them out. I'm gonna did you have to do it? If you no, wanted to get a nickname and be no. a part of the crew, yeah. I don't need a... F then fuck y'all. Yeah, yeah, fuck y'all. Just yeah. a banana <laughs> in the toilet. You think nah, it's poop, I'm not reaching into the school to toilet. You. Oh, no, you were blindfolded. You. you didn't know what you were reaching into. I don't need to know you. You nah, definitely yeah, knew you were no, in the bathroom. I don't do even blindfolded. Chris, did you do stuff. that? No, know. no, we had something different to do. What was yours? Can't tell you. What did come you on, do? Man. Yeah, what did you do? No, 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 come on. You had to say it now. They give you this big speech about how you need to trust your upperclassmen. And you're in the woods, and you're like, all right, so you're going to close your eyes and stand next to this tree, and then someone just taps you in the nuts, and everybody laughs. It's always a ball tapping. Yeah. I knew but it. the thing is, I had baggy jeans, and they missed, and then they teach you the secret handshake, and you get your nickname. Nice. That's pretty easy. Smart. Sorry to all of my uh, Ziflemeyers, you know, my bad, y'all. It's like, oh, he wasn't supposed to tell. I'm kicked out. <laughs> yeah. It's ruined now. Yeah. Fucking Ziffs. All you're right, anyway, uh, tell us about your initiation stories. Did they involve bananas or ball tapping? Nah. They tried to get me to do some rushes, but I was like, nope. What, some what? what? You know, you they wanted them to rush. Like uh, frat rushes, so you go party oh, with them and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just did the party. In the then they'll be like, hey, underclassmen, fucking take your dick out and put it on a table. <laughs> yeah. Where are uh, those diaper surf trays? Oh. All right? <laughs> Every time I call you asshole, you got to do a fucking keg stand, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry to frat boys. I know that that's not you guys, all of you guys. My yeah. bad. <laughs> there's understood. at least one. I never oh, understood yeah. that either. Oh, yeah. One, well, there's a funny is, episode of Atlanta where they end up at a frat house. And from like, season two? Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. like ordering their like initiates to do shit and they're like dicks around they're just like mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it's just weird. Um, well look, now the market substitute support the OG content, we're about to dive straight in. Here we go. Which is not okay. If, if you're at a frat and their initiation is pull your dick out and you don't want to pull your dick out, then song. you're not joining that you frat. You don't have to do that. I, I mean, don't care if your daddy was in that frat. I don't care if it's an exclusive business fraternity frat. You're going to get a slick six-figure job income. Pull by your dick out for six figures. Okay. I, I'm not going to dick out for six figures. <laughs> Rewind it. What are you doing? Coins, yeah, you guys started. I have two coins totaling 15 cents. One of them is not a nickel. What are they? A diamond. diamond and nickel. Yes, I've heard that before. <laughs> okay. A man and his son get into a car accident. The doctor says, it's there's no way I can operate on this it's boy because he's my son. The doctor is the boy's mother. Hunter, it's a polar bear because you're at the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Ryan can make everything just like, no, nah, I've heard that before. <laughs> I, I stole this one from Mickey, but what concert is 45 cents to get into? Yeah. 50 cents? I don't know. Featuring Nickelback. <laughs> that would be a, uh, that'd be a crazy one. What, what kind <laughs> of bee makes milk instead of honey? <laughs> A booby. Tell me what you did yesterday. Jan, you are attractive. Nothing? No, nothing. How was your day? I don't care how your day was, Michael. Well, <laughs> I don't care how your day was either, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you what me you up did like yesterday. That. I worked and I went home to my condo and Carol came over. Oh. And we had sex. Bro! Bro. <laughs> Why are you, you like Never, this? ever, ever sleep with your boss. Jan and I only got to second base. Did so, oh, they already confirm that? <laughs> a log of everything Michael does hour by hour. What? Jan used to treat Michael like he was a 10-year-old, but lately it's like he's five. <laughs> <laughs> very excited. Yes. Extremely excited. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Just very. That's cool. <laughs> I have to commit or get out, so. Getting out. He's taking me on my first sales call today. I'm excited. So he's, oh, he's excited. Yeah, excited. So he's committing. Right. You know, just till it gets to a point. Why do they drop? Yeah, they're just in a cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> My guy's gonna kill him. When you are ready to see the sales office, the sales office will present itself to you. <laughs> Your journey begins now. Uh, I hate this. God damn it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My chair's squeaking. You took my chair. I took back the chair that you took from me. When you get up, I'm just gonna take it back anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know they do work, but it feels like they mostly fuck around. They do fuck around. He doesn't do any work. He's doing work right now. Jim got the big job, bro. He man, do the work. He's copying. So it's 45K. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, can you stand up? Talk to me over there. Karen, uh, you trusted him to be subtle about it. it. I'm acting my heart out here. I <laughs> 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 oh, oh, look at this almost run. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the free pretzels dance. Uh, Once a year, they give away free pretzels. It's really not a big deal. To some people, it is. <clears throat> can I be productive if I have this one little thing in my brain and that one little thing is a soft pretzel. Yo, soft pretzel slap though. With some beer cheese. Oh, oh no. Fuck this last night worth it. Oh no. That's, it's like five people. Right? <laughs> no, that's not worth it. Yeah, that's oh, not no, worth that's it. Like 15 people, just, that's like 15 people. That's like 25, 30 minutes. No. in the ground. I am going to plant my seed in you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Major pause. I don't think you know what you're saying. <laughs> You get your I suit dirty. In my car. I'll be right back. Is he gonna oh, leave? <laughs> He's definitely leaving. He's leaving. <laughs> Damn it! He was actually excited too. Mm. Poor Ryan. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small. And then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, <laughs> well, I like pretzel day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Bob no, Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Line, no. no way. Uh-uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. This is too big oh, of a line. Bob, will you Boo. please get two pretzels? Thanks, Bob. <laughs> no, it's gonna take forever. One pretzel per person. <laughs> no, fuck that. That ain't the rules. This is pretzel day. It was pretzel day. <laughs> what a pair of Marys. Did you just knock on the world's biggest door? Oh my god. You have passed the second challenge. What was the first? Off. To Shroot Farm! This is your farm? <laughs> it's a beet farm. Please the stop. <laughs> Please stop. Because I like them a certain way, and if it gets screwed up, then this whole thing's blown. <laughs> I, hate, I was in a frat in college, this. so I know what you're doing. Oh, he was in a frat. You have to trust yep, yep. that maybe there are other people that can teach you things. Looks like he actually got him with that last pump up there. He's like, all right, there's things I can learn. Can you tell me you have a sweet pretzel left? We do. And we have 18 different toppings. Oh, hey, quickly, no. Michael. Cinnamon no. sugar. All? The works, you got it. The works? <laughs> That's diabetes, motherfucker! <laughs> Too many flavors. The work. What oh. is happening? <laughs> is that your cousin, <laughs> Yes. Oh, is this Michael Schur? I heard you played with what Dwight's brother or cousin or something. Facing Dunder Mifflin. Outsourcing and consolidation of competition. Flash floods. What? <laughs> what is the true cause? <laughs> Of Robert Mifflin's suicide. Depression? Wrong. He hated himself. <laughs> what is the Dharma Initiative? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I can tell you that. I can tell you that, Dwight. Steady. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Dwight is a losty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's Michael Scott's greatest fear. Failure. Being alone. Being alone. Loneliness. Maybe women. Hmm? Wrong. <laughs> Not afraid of anything. Also, I would have accepted snakes. <laughs> you need to vanquish fear. Is that a One coffin over there? You will now wrestle my cousin Mo. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're coming. I'm not doing this anymore. This is over. Right. right. Get in the car. What do you want? <laughs> Yo, fuck no, that. No, I would have wrestled it. <laughs> Aww. She nice. Uh, sorry. Loads of sorry too. He sent over uh, a basket with eggs and something he whittled. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, Man, the bacon and the eggs were tight. That that is gonna <laughs> curse my household. <laughs> Not coming uh, to the threshold. I didn't realize most came in. Oh no. On this episode. Oh no. Is that Michael Sher playing him? <laughs> Fuckers. You know, I wanted us to be a team. I just wanted to go on a sales call. 
The sales call. <laughs> oh my Bro! god. What did you, you fucking forgot? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Dun, hey. dun, dun. Oh shit. <laughs> Is he listening to Jock Jams? Fucking 08? Deal or no deal? <laughs> he does deal. all his work in like two so hours. What is the deal? Yeah, um, I'm going to try to be confident, but not cocky. Hey everyone, I am officially streamlining the efficiency of this corporation. Michael, what's going on? And I will be taking <laughs> questions. Did you have a lot of sugar today, Michael? What's in your seat? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But one question Come at a time, please. I wish your girl fixed me like this. It don't. I can get a lot done, don't you? On paper, at least, and we are, after all, a paper company. Are we not? Are we not? Are we not? Oh, so he's are just railing lines in his bitch. <laughs> 18 different <laughs> flavors on a single pretzel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't have to say it to your face. I don't get what I did wrong. It's those online paper jerks. You know what? They're going to be screwed once this whole internet fad is over. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Oh, no, no, no! No! <laughs> Ryan! Yes! Ryan the Tap! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hype me. Honestly, that's fair. I'll do it too. <laughs> bro, come, come on, bro. On, man. I would have done it too, bro. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam's. Salmonella all this over the crazy. place. Oh He's my god. Sales call. Maybe he actually got that sale with the. <laughs> Irish oh car god. bombs? Turn yeah. <laughs> oh that's how you know he's a frat. Ryan, Ryan. There you go. Damn, you really have to chug that down for the. For the shot. A temp agency could have seen Yeah, one shot anywhere. of that. Think about that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 20 past 5. AM or PM? PM. Jesus. These came for you, Brent Caselli. With the jello. This is a huge sale. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the the, the Hi, Cosby dude? He always comes mm -hmm. in on the clock. He comes, he comes through, he knows what to say. So that dude actually laughed at his Cosby yeah. thing, probably. Yeah. He's one of those people who's like, you're so fucking. Uh, right. oh, oh my god. Sorry, I forgot Kevin's extension. <laughs> it's a fantasy football thing. Oh. Why, why are you still there? Jan's making me keep a log of everything Michael does all day. Do you think you could send me a copy of that? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I miss you. Bye. Oh. Everything's pretty much the same here. What time is it there? Um, we're in the same time zone. Felt far. If you want to kiss again? I have a question. How many words per minute does the average person type? I type 90. <laughs> Mavis Beacon doesn't even type 90. 90 per word minute mean, doesn't sound like that much. I was just about to brag. Forget it. You have to tell me now. 65. Okay, no need to laugh. I'm watching the movie because so I just want to go a home. Relaxing evening at home. Nah, it's gonna be like seven o'clock. How do you confuse 28 days with 28 days later? <laughs> <laughs> hey Ryan, are you That's okay? Okay, bye. What? Oh, oh no, I was. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I should probably go too. Okay. I mean. Ah! Yeah. These guys are killing me. <laughs> oh. But Rashida Hi, Jones. I know Rashida Jones is better, bro. Come Hi, on. Jim. No. Oh, nah, God. they have. I mean, they've had their long. He standing needs his thing. green eggs and Pam. <laughs> <laughs> I think Michael set that out. That was just a callback. Will they? Yeah. Won't they? I just want you two to do the freak and do it every single week. Every what? single week. <laughs> Three hundred sixty-four. <laughs> Till the next pretzel day. <laughs> Stanley. Surprised <laughs> they didn't call this Diwali. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next one's Diwali. That's oh, gonna be God. great. Oh, <laughs> bro. Lord. It is. Oh God. <laughs> I just can't wait for Michael to ham fistedly say and or do some shit. Let's not talk about that episode. Let's talk about this one. Hey. Pretzel day. Wow. So Michael. Somehow, in the middle of all that unproductiveness, <laughs> made a huge ass sale. I don't uh, know if he does it. Does he know? Like, did he know that was a whale that he just got? Or I yeah, so. I think so. I think it's just no big deal to him. Like, we yeah. have we've never heard he's that good at sales. Yeah. yeah, we've never heard him make a sale and someone not be like, "That's a that's a huge sale." Like, we've also never time. heard him be worried. Yeah. yeah, I feel like he's he's such a good salesman. Like the, all this, not like his job. <laughs> like like he's he's such a good salesman. Like he doesn't have to like work. Like he knows that he's gonna get results. It's so weird to me because like <laughs> if you're like a good salesman, you should know the person you're talking to. Like you should know how to appeal to them. And he specifically. is. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird that he can't do it in his like personal life. Oh, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. 
Like, how cannot he translate that skill that he clearly has yeah. to his personal life? It's like he knows how to make the sale. Maybe his mind is on like 100% when it comes to sales, but it's interpersonal so relationships, he's just like, Michael. Well, with- <laughs> and then again, though, he's just, he's awkward when talking, but everyone likes him in a way. Like, he's still likable. So, I mean, I imagine if you don't actually know him and you get to meet him for the first time and you guys are just talking about business and sales or something like that or like context. paper yeah yeah context like, matters because I, I get like hella social anxiety like if i'm at a party or something but if mm-hmm. i have the context to like do improv or like i, I like performing in front of people which is weird i've seen no, you no, at so, so many parties huh? yeah. i've seen you at so many parties yeah and i have anxiety at every single one of them. but all the parties <laughs> rather just us i know it's still i'm still anxious chris <laughs> i can't chris, not everybody's like, like you, you. <laughs> <laughs> in this particular case, <laughs> the parties I see Mickey at is with the ten motherfuckers he's known for ten years. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's but it's different. Slightly we're, we're, surprising. Listen, when we had a different, different location, day. when we had a different location, we you gotta talk about different things. We can't talk about work. So where where you going? I get Michael. It's, it's the, easy to talk about work, but other things it's hard to talk about other things. I, I'm not shading Mickey for it. I'm just surprised. <laughs> not even the party thing, but just like literally, like uh, like when I did um, the, when we did the stand up thing. Like I, I, I was nervous, but oh, I'm not, of I wasn't. I ner- mean, that makes sense. I wasn't nervous about like being in front of people, though. I was nervous about like forgetting stuff. So like, I can be extroverted if there's a context <sighs> for it. I feel that. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but yeah, Michael, uh, he's on the struggle bus. He needs to figure out how to talk to people proper. Maybe he's just bringing too much of his like oh. Be- PB and J silly jokes all the time to like regular conversations and people are like that doesn't fly here. <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> the I Bill know. Cosby impression is what did it. So I'm guessing it's just like some old ass like boomer dude who was just like yeah, <laughs> dude, 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 wait, 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 again. Wait, you, got, uh, you guys know why he was doing it? It's because it was the Jello guy he was talking to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Jello pudding joke. Like, <laughs> yeah, it made sense. That shit hit. The man's oh, comedy uh, yeah. goes with the subject. I don't get, I don't get that reference. Uh, you know, Cosby used to like the, the pudding jello. He used to be like, he used to Bill Cosby yeah. was the face of uh, Jello. Yeah. The Jello, 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 Jello pudding. And Jello pudding. J E L L O. It's a lie. Man, that show was so good back in the day. You know, by the time all that happened, Jello had nothing to do with it. Yeah. They were just like, ooh, that's that bullet. Like, he was a, a, a TV dad. He was one of the best TV dads. Do you remember the episode of The Cosby Show where he makes the uh, barbecue sauce that gets people all horned up? No. And no. then they fall asleep, and he doesn't want the kids to eat any of it? No. 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 Oh, my God. There was an episode like that? I uh, missed no. it. And I used to watch religiously all the time. <laughs> no. Classic Cosby mess around. See, I, like, Nickelodeon now, like, plays, like, old shows, like, uh, George Lopez mm-hmm. and, like, uh, all that stuff. But I wish they, like, I know he did some bad stuff, but, like, mm. like there was good parenting in there. Like, like he was a good, The like, show was, sure, yeah, the show the, can stand on its own. Yeah. Like, there was, like, good parenting. Like, I don't know if anyone, anyone I mean, no one wants to watch but, it. But it's one of those things. Bro- it's one of those things I'm where like, like, I wanted him to be my bike. dad. You know, he was a good dad. It's one of those things where what he did is so <laughs> egregiously ab- abhorrent bad. that it doesn't matter. But he's like, out. Huh? Is he out? He's out. He out of jail? Yeah, uh, he is out, but like it doesn't, still make it it doesn't right. mean anything. Like it's still like okay. it's just like his legacy is so tarnished that it doesn't matter. I know, For right? instance, if I was it one of those matter. women or somebody in that woman's family who's that it happened and I have to turn on Nickelodeon and see Bill Cosby's fucking face, I'd be like, oh well. There's a reminder that someone in my family was sexually fucking molested by the Jello Boy. Um, that's just my hot take. Uh, Michael Scott, though, is uncancelable. He's pretty funny and sometimes offensive, but in that kind of way that people still endure. People be like, you can't make The Office today. Fun fact about comedy, it should always be evolving. You can't make The Three Stooges today anyway. Look, he gave a bird a funeral. How much roadkill do we all see on our daily basis? And then what Dwight... We ever- what have we ever done for that roadkill? Honestly, <laughs> I, with that. I ran over a squirrel <gasps> once. You and I was, oh. I was traumatized for like a solid week. I believe it. I, yeah, literally, I literally could not stop thinking about it. And like, I literally had to pull over and like breathe through it. And I cried. So we, and, like, 
And I wanted, I, I like had to go outside and look at my tire, like make sure that it's not like, on, it wasn't my tire. Oh, your tire was okay. Oh, and I then I, I, was, I was just like outside, like. <laughs> look at me checking these material things. And I just if took it makes a you life. feel better, they're invasive. So That's what I was going to say. They, <laughs> you probably had it coming. <laughs> Jesus. Squirrels are fucking are dumb, so bro. Bad. I've seen so many get run over by other cars because they go to the middle of the street and then they're like, oh, fuck. And then they turn back around. That's what you do. I think it's. Like I, I saw one get run over like a couple weeks ago and it, it traumatized me because it was like twitching. Like my favorite Geico stop. commercial was I'm the squirrels yeah. race and they're like ah they like high five each other <laughs> they like make a car veer off the road because they just like sprint across. Uh, the, Ryan the temp and turn it up. Oh no, what was I gonna say? Jim and Pam. Okay, I know it's a will they won't they, but clearly. They're meant to be together because the whole episode, he has this flirtatious thing going on with Karen and they give it to whatever, Ed Helms' character, the squeaky chair. And mm-hmm. then you're thinking like, oh, there's this new budding romance. But at the end, they end up spending like three hours on the phone with, with the old flame. So we, right. we n- now we know. Well, right. he spent a whole work day trying to tra- track down some chips. So that's eight hours yeah. for Karen. Yes. <laughs> he is simp, bro. He likes cute yeah, like, girls. Come on, man. You know, well, that's what's wrong with that. He likes cute girls in the workplace. That can only be endearing in a movie or TV show. Like, exactly. Yeah. If I spent eight hours yeah, trying to get like, you hey, dude, like, like that I, would not be cute. Like we need to work. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would not be. Uh, cute. You can stop now. It was cute at first. He's kind of like Michael though, where he can like pull it out in the last minute, right? Like yeah. he does. He knows he doesn't have to do the work until he needs to do the work. Like yeah. Kenny? Yeah. Huh? Kenny? No, Jim. No, yeah, Jim. Because I thought he was like the third. I thought there was uh, Michael Dwight and then Jim. No, I think, but Jim got the job. At one point, he had one of the biggest clients. Uh, mm-hmm. So I do think Jim is also like, oh, yeah, I'll do it when I do it. I mean, he's a talker, so I'm sure he can. Jim yeah. is a very capable person. He's in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, Ryan is up. too, though, I think. Ryan is settling. I feel like they're all, oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> I was going to say, that makes me sorry. so sad. I'm glad that Dwight feels like this is like his dream job. Like, Dwight becoming Michael is probably the only thing that would make him happier. I feel like Ryan keeps applying places and keeps getting told he needs more experience. Yeah. yeah. So he's yep, stuck at yep, 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 yep. I, I like, think he just took this job for yeah. experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and now man. he's stuck in there because he's with, what, Mindy? Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Kelly. 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 We, we've so, heard the Kelly kiss before. analogy before, right? Keep yeah. It yeah, short, yeah keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, yeah. stupid. We are good, we are. Well, we'll see you guys at the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye.